Warning, you are now entering an infected area. Here, safe place. Hey there, boils and ghouls. Welcome back. It's your friend Taryn Tass, and I'm back with a new video. This is going to be a little bit different. I think you guys can already tell. Well, you can tell because of, you know, the title of the video. Tonight, we are going to do a updated um, movie library room tour. And uh, just wanted to show you guys some things I've been doing. And, uh, yeah, you know, this is definitely a step up from last year. And, uh, you know, yeah, just wanted to show you guys what's going on. So let's get started. You see I got those signs on the door. I got my shining collage poster on the door here. Um, shining obviously being one of my favorite movies. And yeah, so we're about to enter. And I did decide it. I'm sure you guys have seen um, YouTubers do this. Come on camera, please focus. I'm sure you've seen YouTubers do this where they take, you know, use magnets and they take some of their steel books and put them on the wall. Well, I decided I'd go ahead and give that a try. and. Uh, I don't know. I'm not really sure how I feel about it yet, but uh, we'll see. And, uh, you know, mostly it's just my Chainsaw Massacre steelbooks and, you know, some of my Christmas movie steelbooks. And, uh, yeah, so, I don't know. Give it time. We'll see how it goes. I also have some other ones up here. I'll show you up here. I got the Friday the 13th steelbooks. And the idea is hopefully if uh, Paramount keeps putting out the rest of them, I have a nice line of Friday the 13th steel books up there, so we'll see. Along this wall over here, though, we already have, uh, in my opinion, the only Star Wars movies you need. Episodes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Those are the only ones, in my opinion, you really need. Right over here, I know, I'm sorry, I'm kind of going a little crazy over here, but uh, the beginning of my uh, tiny, uh, Toonie Terrors collection... And we have Jason Voorhees, we have Leatherface, and the Miner, a.k.a. Harry Warden from My Bloody Valentine. So, and right there, the complete series of Fear Itself, a.k.a. Masters of Horror Season 3, which, unfortunately, it didn't go any further. And Yeah, I just kind of, I love Masters of Horror. It would have been great if we could have gotten more seasons of that. You know, maybe get some of the other, you know, maybe like Rob Zombie do an episode or hell, even, you know, somebody like Kevin Smith or, you know, just if we could have just gotten more of that, that would have been awesome. But unfortunately, just wasn't meant to be up here. We have the uh, Planet Terror Steelbook. So this one's pretty cool. And up here, we're going to go. Ooh, la, la. Yeah, we got uh, I don't have many. These are just the very few uh, autographs that I have there on the far left in the blue frame is. From Mia Kirshner, uh, you remember her from movies like Black Dahlia and 30 Days of Night, Dark Days, and Not Another Teen Movie, things like that. Uh, next to her is adult star Chasing Lane. So, uh, sorry, not trying to be a perv, but just, you know, what can I say? She was uh, formative in my younger years, what can I say? And these three here, these are all autographs by uh, director Jeff Burr. Um, there's the, uh, all of these were uh, basically taken when he worked on his film From a Whisper to a Scream there. You see the autographed picture right there. And, uh, you know, on the, the uh, there's one with Vincent Price with Roger Corman. Then there's one with Jeff Burr directing Vincent Price. Then there's like the little one sheet or whatever they call it. Then uh, over here we have a uh, autographed picture of from Shivers by the star Lynn Lowry, who here in just a few minutes, you'll see my autograph steel book of uh, Shivers as well. But uh, yeah, it was really nice. When I ordered the autograph steel book from her, she was really nice to include some pictures. And so it's nice to get that. So, and uh, I'm pretty sure she won't watch this, but you know, just thank you, Lynn. It was really nice of you. Now going here, we got some of these collage posters here. We got the Friday the 13th. This obviously came when I bought the, the, uh, box set from Screen Factory and next to this is this one is super popular everybody's seen this one it's on t-shirts and you see it posted on social media all the time and it's just a big collage all the different horror icons and stuff like that and so yeah this is pretty cool to have I got some space here I got another one that uh, I just need to get a frame for and uh, one of the things you're going to notice about in this room tour here is like yeah you see there's a lot of blank space and I personally like that because I love the idea of always having 
you know, room for more stuff. And you never know what you can find the next time you go out looking and everything. So, yeah, I just like the idea of having all the space. You know, hopefully I can get more Toonie Terrors collections. I can put up more pictures. I can put up more autographs. So, hopefully time will tell. Real quick, almost forgot this here. I got two figures up here above the doorway. On the left, we have Daniel Robitaille, a.k.a. Candyman. Tony Todd is awesome. Yeah, don't think I need to tell you guys that in this. And, of course, on the right, we got Robert England, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. So, really happy to have that. That's pretty cool. So, now we're going to come over here to my Halloween tree. I love my Halloween tree. I've seen these before, and I always wanted to have one. So... We got the pumpkins, we got like a little, we got a uh, Rick Grimes from The Walking Dead there. We got Jack Skellington. So we go down. There's some stuff buried in here though, I kind of have to try to find. There's the Krampus tree ornament. Come on. Where's that? Eh. Ah. There we go. Krampus right there. So got some bookmarks here. We have it. We have Pet Cemetery. We have a, oh, I knocked down one of the skulls. We have a 237 room key for The Shining. And uh, up here we got like, a, there's some other stuff in here too. I got like a little Wolfman ornament. So, but yeah, I just, I always loved having a, I've always loved seeing these advertised and always wanted to have one myself and now I have one, so. There we go. Yep, so love my Halloween tree. Okay, so now over here we're gonna come and these are my Dario Argento posters. And one thing one thing I found out is funny is like you can notice how, yeah, that painting there, the uh, poster there is crooked. Yeah, it turns out that the uh, walls in my apartment aren't exactly even. And I found that out the hard way. So I was like trying to put this up and and then kind of realize like yeah you know it's like my yeah my wall is kind of askew here but I got you know some posters that came with the 4Ks I got Deep Red Creepers there's the uh, other one I think it was the Japanese of a phenomenon on the other side but you know I kind of wanted the Creepers poster because that's you know the VH cover that everybody always remembered so I wanted to make sure I got that and so we got Tenebrae and down here we got Burr with the Crystal Plumage and the Cat of Nine Tails. And again, hopefully there'll be more Dari Argento posters in the future. And, you know, some more room over here too. This is, I showed this off in a previous video. This is my Blake from the Fog figure. So that's what I was saying. Yeah, hopefully be some room. You know, hopefully I'll be able to get more of those in the future. And I'll have the, you know, I'll have the room to put them all. So and this here is kind of a... Here we go. We got the shelf here with uh, this is my Michael Myers that uh, I've had. Uh, my mother bought this for me for Christmas in 1999 or 2000. It was one of those. So I've had this for uh, 23, almost 24 years. I've got the uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I got the uh, Judith Myers uh, headstone, which I found in Spirit Halloween. I really, I really like that, and I like having it with it. <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, Toonie Terrors that I don't have in the package. That's Ash. Ash Williams from Evil Dead. There's my animated Sam from Trick or Treat. I always keep that in the box. Try to keep it preserved and everything. Up here I got my little Hellraiser 3 puzzle box. There's the videotape I did the review for, or the uh, unboxing for. Thanks to my, Glenn, my friend Glenn from uh, BDG Reviews. There's a little TV that shows little tiny clips of friends that I got for Christmas. Show that off in my Christmas haul video. Here's my big industrial strength Freddy Krueger glove right there. And then uh, right there, as you can see, it's, there's the, uh, yeah. there's the autograph steel book for Shivers so, from Arrow. And here we have uh, box sets for uh, TV shows and things like that. Of course, you see we got Adam's Family, we've got Evening with Kevin Smith, Beetlejuice, the cartoon series, the Boris Karloff collection, the uh, Anchor Bay, uh, Dawn of the Dead. I know I just got the 4K from Second Sight, but still, you know, the Anchor Bay is too cool to give away or get rid of. Same thing with um, the Evil Dead. Excuse me. I have the Evil Dead on 4K, but, 
you know like i keep that because you know i like the commentaries on there um and also too just the hours of bonus features on there so yeah no chance i'm gonna get rid of that and my i really like that box set of uh from dust till dawn on dvd that's pretty cool got the complete series of monsters go down here to the second shelf we have the complete series of the monsters and the sixth sense and spaced you know there's like a big fat gap right there and the reason why is i'm uh you know i'm saving the space because i just pre-ordered the complete series of superstore on dvd which i don't know we'll get to that yeah why no blu-ray for a superstore but we'll get to that when we get the box and we can talk about it but then we have uh, Tales from the Crypt, the complete series, and Tales from the Dark Side. Then down here at the bottom, we have uh, Tales of Halloween. Um, easily one of the best westerns of all time, Tombstone. We have Weird Al Yankovic Live, and then the first six volumes of Family Guy. And I got more Family Guy over here. See there? And down there. <clears throat> okay, so now while I'm over here, may as well go and show this. This is obviously my whole DVD collection. And uh, believe it or not, I know you're going to say, this sounds ridiculous, believe it or not, the DVD section has considerably shrunk over the last year or two because uh, just, you know, been, um, you know, upgrading so many things from DVD to Blu-ray and, you know, just been going through watching some of this stuff and just, you know, realizing like, wow, I got this DVD for a dollar, then I watched the movie and then saw how terrible the movie was and I realized why it was a dollar. But, yeah, but I still got my, I still got quite a few DVDs here. So, so yeah, so I don't poo-poo on DVD collectors. I'm in no place to judge. So over here, you guys remember, if you know, you're longtime fans of my channel, back when I got the, uh, the Halloween set in from Scream Factory, I bought the, there's Halloween 1, 2, and 3 in the, in the you know nice beautiful box sets there with the little 45 record and everything so got those this one here uh showgirls vip edition i found this for pretty much almost nothing but uh i did modify it somewhat i took the dvd out of there and i put my blu-ray dvd combo in and um i'm not sure about if i'm going to get the 4k for showgirls i know some people probably look at me like, dude that right there that's all you need get the 4k but i don't know we'll see uh, maybe when it goes down in price, we'll see what happens. But got these two box sets from Warner Brothers, you know, for Oliver Stone's movie JFK. I'm not sure I really believe everything in that movie, but, uh, you know, it is a good movie. I saw it in the theater, and I just, yeah, it was just a very, very uh, compelling film, engaging story, and I really liked it. So Willy Wonka on the Chocolate Factory. I do have uh, this bad boy. I do have it on 4K, but... Uh, Still, you know, that box set is just too cool, and I just couldn't bring myself to get rid of it. So, and we got collectible tins over here. We got the Elvira, the coffin collection of Elvira's movie Macabre. Of course, you know, you love horror movies, you know, Elvira's just, you know, it's a natural. You're going to love Elvira. That's just the way it goes. You know, Elvira and horror is like, you know, you know uh, chocolate and peanut butter. They just go together. So, but yeah, love me some Elvira. Who doesn't? And then uh, here are my Anchor Bay collectible tins. I have the Beyond, Evil Dead, or Evil Dead 2, Hellraiser, and The Wicker Man. And I'm always on the lookout for other ones. You know, I want to get Maniac and Let Sleeping Corpses Lie and Hellraiser, or um, uh, Halloween 4 and 5, Heathers. So I'm still on the lookout. You know, I'll pick them up if and when I can find them. But, yeah. But also over here, we got my Mystery Science Theater collectible tins. This is the Turkey Day Celebration set, the Gamera Collection, and the 25th Anniversary set. Then I've shown these off in uh, haul videos. I got the Zombie Classics collectible tin and the Crimes of the Century, which obviously, you know, true crime murders and things like that. Okay, and now over here, this is going to surprise a lot of people, I think. Okay, I took the posters that were in the living room where I was doing my videos before. And decided to put them up in here. Main reason why is because you know I've turned my living room into a uh, basically movie theater, and I needed the space on the wall so I could use that as a screen. So I took these posters here, and uh, you can tell. Sadly, I got to do some work on the uh, frame for the Dawn of the Dead, but I need to fix that. But 
We got Dawn of the Dead. We got Alien, The Thing, Hellraiser, The Shining. We got my two Hills Have Eyes posters here. I'm probably in the minority. I think I'm one of the very few people that actually, uh, you know, I don't hate the remake and the, and the sequel of the remake, but I just, I prefer the Wes Craven uh, two films. That's just me. Like I said, I know I'm in the minority there, but uh, anyway. Then here we got um, collector sets. These are like the, these are the ones like the slip covers to me. I mean, you guys can see I, sh you know, I sleeve a lot of my movies and stuff like that. And uh, real quick, one thing you're gonna notice, yeah, you can tell these are those Atlantic shelves that, uh, you know, like they were supposed to build three big shelves, but these shelves are, they're very flimsy and they're not sturdy at all. So what I ended up doing was just instead of three large shelves, I just broke them down into. Uh, basically five smaller ones but here we go we got the uh, these are the uh, to me the slip covers are just too cool to get rid of I can't get you know I got to keep these bad boys then here we got some of the uh, box collector sets and stuff so uh, I do have more I mean like hang on a second I'll show you uh, some of these are in my bedroom and here we are in my bedroom and uh, you can see I still have the Friday the 13th box series, the Hellraiser Scarlet box, and when are we ever going to get 4Ks of Hellraiser 1 and 2? That's what I really want to know. The uh, House of Hitchcock box set and the Superman Blu-ray box set, and plus the few uh, Funko Pops I did manage to decide to keep. So I just kind of got tired of the whole Funko Pop thing, but I kept the ones I truly wanted. So, but yeah. But anyway, yeah, chances are I do have a lot of the uh, box sets and stuff. Some of them I did sleeve. I took the uh, took the disc, you know, and, you know, like, uh, where's, like, uh, hang on a second. Let me see. Like, where is it at? Come on, I know you're here. See, like, the fly. So I do have, like, the Scream Factory fly set and everything else. I just put the uh, the outer case in storage and just sleeved everything. But, you know, stuff like The Fly and Critters and Rec series. I have all that stuff, you know. So. But, there we go. Some of the box sets I couldn't bear to sleeve or just wasn't able to. And then uh, down here on the bottom, the last few there, we got some Blue Underground and everything. And there we go. We got my Criterions that I have so far. And this is the beginning of my Indicator 4K series. Looking forward to getting more of those, so. Yeah, so uh, that's it. So I think that's pretty much going to do it. So, and then, uh, of course, you know, too, like, here we go. So, yeah, pretty good sized collection of uh, Blu rays and 4Ks. Um, each shelf here, you know, they're, you know, they're sectioned by like three. And so, and I do believe each one sleeved is a, supposed to hold like at least about 100. So, and that's five shelves there. So, we're looking, give or take, in the area of 1500 so that's a pretty good size amount and then of course we're already starting here on the other shelf here these are some posters i need to get framed for they're really they're the uh indiana jones posters that i got with the um you know the 4k <clears throat> steel books then we got these are uh dvds that are waiting to be upgraded as you can see i got messiah of evil here i got the dvd but i pre-ordered the that beautiful uh, Blu-ray box set. So, so this is placeholder till I can get that new Blu-ray set. And then down here uh, we have CDs. I am in the process of. I've already told you guys in other videos that I am rebuying a lot of my CD collection because just a lot of them are. Um, they're old. I've had them for a long time. They're scratched. Some of them even have disc rot. So it's like yeah, I'm in the process of replacing them with nice newer. Uh, CDs so but anyway yeah that's uh, pretty much gonna do it so there we go my wolf head cane so yep you're gonna be a horror fan you need to have a wolf head cane and then like I said you know it's like yes there's a lot of open space here but can't wait to you know have the space available in case if something cool comes along I'll be able to fill it up but uh, that's pretty much it so Everybody, thank you for taking the tour with me, and uh, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, would you please leave it a like, and if you haven't already, uh, go ahead and sub 
you know subscribe my channel and uh, also too I just started uh, Instagram so if you want to follow me on Instagram it's uh, it's terror tats one word all lowercase letters lowercase t e r r o r t a t s terror tats on uh, Instagram and uh, that's it boils and ghouls so uh, everybody take care have a good night and I'll see you later